Hi guys, um, I just wanted to stop by before I go into my process video to show you what supplies I'm going to be using for my Halo Magpie blog post this month. So I've just pulled it all out um, because I'm going to work from this um, as if it was a kit. Um, I will be adding a few different die cuts in. Um, I also found my flare tin, so I'm going to try and use my flare. Um, I just want to show you what I have done. Whether foolishly or not, I don't know. I have put all of my die cuts into this tub. So in here there is stickers, there is hundreds of different die cuts. If you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I used to keep all my die cuts in the um, Project Life Studio calico boxes um, and I find when kind of rooting through things, I mean I've even got ephemera in here as well, um, that yeah I would kind of find things that I wouldn't necessarily use. So I have put them all in this box. I may think that's a foolish decision but that is how I'm storing them for now. So um, I've got a few different bits and pieces here. I have picked up some more flare. Um, I haven't used flare much recently, but um, I've seen a few people using it and I was like, mm, I have loads of flare. Um, so of course I brought some more. Um, this is from the Kiwi collection from Project Life. And I really like this. And of course I love the camera. So yeah, I've just picked these up and I'm looking forward to trying those out. Then I have the different, um, embellishment bits that came with the jelly bean soup healthy hello um i did use these in another video these are the little wood veneer pieces i then picked up these which are the acrylic shapes and these are really going to stretch me because i'm not quite sure how i'm going to use them but there's lots of awesome bits on there so i'm going to have different goes at trying to use them and then these i just love these are called word fetty and they are lots of tiny like basically like um, little word stickers but in wood. So I picked those up and I'm just keeping these all um, how I'm scrapping now. Now I've put all my die cuts in and that and I'm not using at the moment I'm not using my big um, blood filled tray <laughs> um, which I love but I'm not using this at the moment. Um, I've got a I've been using that for another crafty project. So I'm just keeping it in this vintage glass dish so that's just going to sit over here then these are the papers and again I've so I mixed a couple of different collections so this is um, Jilly Bean Hello Healthy Soup and this is the bite size bit so these are the, the cards and um, then a little 4x4 four four, um, 3x4 you've got these 3x2 bits maybe or maybe a little bit more um, mixture of those and then this lovely blue gingham and I really love the navy going through this collection um, this piece um, which kind of looks almost like a brick wall um, and then these beautiful stars called Cup of Chow. so I really love that this one I love which is called Herbed Haloa and all these beautiful words on a newsprint and then this lovely I'm going to really struggle what size of that to use because I really love this confetti design then arrows this is aged aloha I really like that but there's also a really nice yellow gingham these are very summery colors um this is jar of jambo or jumbo jambo again with a really nice and all this um inking already kind of spatters on here and then this floral um this is a hint of hello this is um some florals that you could possibly cut out and use for embellishments as well um or there's this lovely pink arrow design um these pieces are then from Dear Lizzie Happy Place and I thought these worked in really well together. Um, so as you can see the pink tones work quite well. It's got a beautiful strip of cameras on the bottom and this one is called Aruba. So again the colour palette is very similar. This is called Lemon Berry. It's a beautiful grey dot ombre, love that. And then this yellow and white stripe. This again is another green text piece and it's called Be Free and I really love this and the green is not quite the right green, this darker green is, um, but yes yeah, so it's not quite, and then there's this black and white stripe as well, love this piece of paper um, and this is called Kokomo, I don't know, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love this, absolutely love this piece of paper. Um, and it's got this on the other side, which I would not use. I'm not a fan of, I don't know, what are they, cockatiels? Some kind of parrot? Cactus? Yeah, not really into that, but I love this side. 
This is another ombre, slightly larger, called Bermuda. And then this print on this side. So I really love how these two collections are going to work, hopefully <laughs> going to work together. Um, and this is, kind of, if I lay them out on kind of the colours that I'm probably going to use, but I don't know. Um, I always say I'm going to do one thing and then end up doing it. But I brought these more to use as backgrounds because, um, yeah, I know that I was going to struggle to decide on these. And this one, again, not using it as a background, I could use both sides. So the jelly bean soup does have um, more of a cream base to it, but I think it's going to work together quite, quite well. So if I just whoop, move them into a better shot there, and as I said, I really love how these are going to work. I'm going to be working um, with some of my USA photos as well. So super excited to um, have a play with these papers. So um, yeah, do stay around and you'll see the first process video. So talk to you in a minute, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. So um, here is my first video and um, I'm going to be scrapping a collage of photos. And these are photos that I snapped in a American candy store. Um, of course, being being a Brit, it's quite exciting to go over and see all the different candies and the different names and stuff you don't normally see in the UK. Um, as you all know, like I'm, a, you know, I do like American candy and stuff like that. So it was cool to take a few pictures of them. Um, I am using that background paper. This is from Jilly Bean Soup, and it's all like little dashes of colour from that collection, and it just reminded me of like loads of little sweets and little. It's just what it reminded me of. I just thought it was really, really cool. So that's what I'm going to be using as my background paper. I'm mounting it on this yellow gingham. And then I'm going to make my photo collage. And this, if you've watched quite a few of my videos, this is something I do quite often. Um, and it's just a case of adding, you know, adding bits, taking bits away to fill in. And normally I just it's dictated by the size of the scrap I've got. So I'm using, leaving two... Um, larger not quite four by six slightly smaller than four by six and then cropping these other two down and the good thing is about with these pictures is that you know there's there's a lot of there's a lot in them so just taking a little bit off is actually probably slightly better because it focuses it more and i'm just going to then stick this down and again this is something i do a lot i mount my photo in the same paper that i mount my layout in and it's just something that I've got into a habit of doing and I just like that sort of continuity of it. Um, someone did ask me um, in one of the comments, I did reply, is how much I um, cut off my paper. And I just do it by the marks that are on my trimmer. So I just do it by whatever that one mark is. And I think I looked and I think it's about a centimetre off each side. Um, I'm not sure what that is in inches. I'm one of those people that works half in inches, half in centimetres. Um, but yes, so I just take a little bit off um, the top one side and the top or the bottom, and that's what I use. And then I just cut out the cut out the middle. I'm using this lovely piece of dear Lizzie paper, and I'm going to just use that to just mount a little piece up. And I also cut out one of the um, three by four. <gasps> Sorry, guys, having a yawn already. That's not good. I'm boring myself. Um, one of the three by four cards, which says. Um, caught on camera because I did take these a little bit sneaky um because I wasn't sure if how they'd feel about me taking photos so I did have my phone and that's the great thing about mobile phones these days is you can be like just wandering around your phone but actually taking sneaky pictures so yeah and I love like the big lollipop sort of tree they had in there it was really cool it reminded me of um what am I trying to say Willy Wonka there we go so the little bit I cut off the side of that background paper actually had this star design on the back and I really love that star paper but I like this other side too so I've actually just take taken off the little bit I've trimmed off the side I'm going to add that to the to add to my cluster I'm going to keep this layout pretty simple because to be honest there was a lot going on in the pictures um, I'm going to journal um, down that pink piece of paper um, just about where we were and why we went in there. I think we were looking for the minion tic tacs, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep keep my journaling super super simple. So I'm gonna use one of the wood veneer words which says awesome. 
and I'm going to use one of the wood veneer <coughs> arrows and a little wood, bleh, wood veneer word, so that word fetty that says remember. Um, I'm a bit bummed out that I tried to colour one of those in and it didn't kind of work, but hey ho. I'm taking one of the flair from that Kiwi Project Life collection and I'm just rooting through my die cut box here. So I wanted to um, pick out a little bit of acetate, had that in my collection forever. Um, and I'm just looking for a piece which was a print and cut from the Silhouette store, which is the Amy Tangerine. Um, I think this was actually from her first collection. And it's a little heart, which um, is a Los Angeles map. And I, <laughs> I've cut a few of them out. I need to actually cut a few more of these out because this is something I think I'd quite like to carry on throughout that album. Um, so, yeah, it's just great. It's got a little Los Angeles map on. And as we were in LA, um, while we were doing this, this was at the Farmer's Market, I think. So I just thought it would work quite well. So just adding that little pink piece there. And then, as I said, keeping the layout, the layers super simple. And just doing that little pop of pink there just to break that up from the background. And I, I like scrapping a lot of pictures on one page. I do do the odd pictures and like the one, that one's... But I take so many pictures, I like to use a variety where I can. Um, and especially these, um, which to be fair, um, I'm not going to do another layout about these sweets. This is it, this is all the photos I took in the sweet store. This is the story, it's all captured there in one place. So, really love how that came together. So that little camera is off the branding strip of one of the Dear Lizzie papers. And I really love those, I do end up using them on quite a few of the layouts. And I'm really just going to build up a super simple cluster, cluster of some paper um, scraps, strips. So I'm just going to put that little Los Angeles heart down and then my wood veneer. I mean, as I said, I keep it super, super simple. Um, and also, this was the first layout I made, so I hadn't cut into many of the papers. I didn't have much, you know, scraps and stuff around. And once I've done a few um, layouts, you do, it's a bit easier because you've got more papers. I'm just taking a bit of washi tape out of my stash, and this is actually an Amy Tangerine washi, ta washi tape. Um, I'm not sure what collection it came from, it's one of her older ones. I said it's just a little blue turquoise stripe, and that's just again picking up the colours from that background paper, and also the photos. There's quite a riot of colour on here. So I'm just sticking this down, I'm going to use my wet glue to stick the little wood fetty down, and also the flare, even though the flare does come a little bit of adhesive. I do like to just use my wet glue to stick that down and also to stick down the um, woodward and again I am sticking that over that acetate piece as well so it's another good reason to use that glue and I have just put that little bit of awesome over the edge there because of course that is going to overlap over the outside and that's just to help balance it because I didn't want to cover up too much of that picture um, I'm trying to use up my thickens because I have quite a lot of half view sheets like this and these, I believe, are an old De Lizzie one, actually. And just had, I had an A, which was quite exciting. And so I'm just going to use that to put my title down. And as I said, these are pink glitter as well, so they're always cool. And I pulled out these Jilly Bean Soup um, little tire alphas. These didn't come with the collection. I don't think there is an alpha with this collection, actually. But I do love the little Jilly Bean Soup alphas. And of course the yellow works perfect with this collection because it's the same manufacturer and also picks up the yellow of that flare. So I'm just putting um, my little title down here which is Candy Overload because it was a little bit overwhelming <laughs> but I kind of walked in and when we were walking around we're like God, can you imagine how much it just cost if you're in the you know, the US and the UK? It'd be ridiculous. So it was cool to have a look around and see all of the candy. So I'm just looking here, I want to put one of these smileys on, these are from Freckled Fawn. I had some of these that I bought then I got another lot in a rack, so I do love using them. It's quite good now I'm not having to save them as much. Because you get like that, you save things, <laughs> because you've only got one. So I'm going to add a little bit of mist um, on here as well, and also the date. But as I said, I'm keeping it pretty simple, so I've just stamped my date there at the bottom. And my journaling is going to go on that side. And then... <clears throat> As I said, it is, it's a pretty simple layout, um, but I do like the clustering. So I'm just going to add add my um, ATG to the back and then stick down. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue in the middle there because um, 
it ripped a little bit as I always do I do end up putting just a little bit of washi over there um, on the back so it's easier when I slip it in and out of the album and that is it a little bit of mist added so thank you very much guys for watching this video I will be back with some more videos this week bye